<laughs> ah, just... Where do you find that? Well, I guess in the vending machine, but still. Did I not empty it enough? Uh, apparently not. Maybe one of them, like, I don't know. Got jammed in the machine. Like, fell... Got jammed in the machine. Maybe it, like, somehow fell out of the machine and was just kind of tucked away. Frankly, we should be able to get just take the drinks out of the machine before free. It's important for saving the world. Exactly. If anyone asks, the fate of the world depends on it. And no, that's not an exaggeration. That's actually true. <laughs> just casually walks away. I was just like, oh, this guy. Yeah. It's a charm, Seven. It wraps around to like Truly negative is. one. Oh yeah, charm overflow. Later. I am going to be amazed if we somehow managed to have like not only all the social links done, but like so much free time. Like, if we somehow managed to complete Mamoru and Nozomi before Mitsuru and then Mitsuru well, and guess. the others before I guess. Oh, welcome back. Because that's the plan. The plan we is to of... try and get Yukari and Fuka pre progress before Mitsuru and Nozomi and Mamoru done before Mitsuru. Then Mitsuru done before Icus. And we probably could actually do it. Which is shocking, it's, really. After it is, isn't being it? so long going, oh god, we're gonna have like three social links not done. Or oh god, we're gonna have like one social link with two steps not done. Okay, Fuka's, Fuka's three. at three. Yukari's at five. Yukari's five. And then we've got eight so four seven. A bit behind. Eight and seven. Eight four seven. And of course so, Sun Guy is only Sunday, so he'll be done soon. Yep, and Mamoru should be done pretty soon himself as well. Yeah, which really just leaves, like, Fuka and Yukari otherwise. Yeah. That's actually, we're in a pretty good spot. Because once hopefully. Mamoru is, <laughs> hopefully, so <laughs> once we get Mamoru out of the way, that's more days for Fuka and Yukari per week. Much obliged. Oh dear. No, no. Yeah. You yeah, actually stay away from Junpei. Yeah, this is we, uh, dangerous. We were trying to threaten you away from making a right ask yourself earlier. Junpei's not going to help that. No, if anything, he's going to exacerbate it even further. No, not really. You're quite understandable. Yeah, you, uh, I think that's actually a problem. Is you're, you're very, very, you are very transparent. There you are. Finally found you. Hey, Takeba. You hardly ever miss student council meetings. I've been looking all over for you. Did someone ask you to come find me? Well, yeah. I'm not a member or anything, but still. Ah, oh, well, sorry about that. You've been pretty busy, huh? What with the class trip and all. It's for both second and third year, so I imagine you have your hands full, too. The class trip? Even if I did go, I'd only spoil the fun. Wait, you're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that. That's not an option. You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. About what? Well, honestly, you're not the easiest person to relate to. But I lost my dad too. And I know what that's like. Talk about. 
So I've decided I don't want our friendship to be over. I'm going to be more upfront with you from now on. <sighs> there she is! I've been looking everywhere for you. Huh? Ryoji-kun? Why are you up here? Huh? Weren't you looking for Miss President, too? I was doing the same thing. Some guy asked me to find her. He said if I didn't, the class trip might get canceled. Ugh, Odagiri Kuhn. He'll hit up anyone in arm's reach for a favor. In any case, looks like I found you. Mitsuru Kirijo san. The tool, aren't you? <laughs> wow, he. You're right, yeah. And I have to say, you're quite stunning. Maybe we could go out sometime? Uh, we, we had this talk, Ryoji. Jesus. Ah, uh, wow. On the top floor of a five star hotel. The restaurant up there. This guy weighs snow time. Nightscape that's almost as breathtaking as you. Nightscape? Senpai, you better head back to the meeting. Oh, right. Takeba, thank you for coming to find me. For now, I'd better see to my duties. Hey, she left without giving me an answer. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Well, how about you, Yukari-san? Care to join me for dinner? I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. <laughs> Ow. I feel like someone's getting beaten up behind my back. Anyway. <laughs> I can imagine just Torm having that moment. Just like, hmm, feels like someone just got their butt kicked somewhere. Huh, that's weird. Alright then, I'll make us lunch. I might not look like it, but I'm a pretty good cook. Just you wait and see. I mean, we've done plenty of cook things with you, so you're plenty cookable. I mean, oh yeah, plenty, yes, plenty cookable. Plenty, plenty cookable. Yes, be sure to add yukari to any dish to really liven up the spice. So these days are stuff. Yep, can, that's uh, just cook all your curry, sun guy. Probably Tosomi or, or Mamoru. And then finish Mamoru somewhere in there, maybe. And then... That sounds good. Because if we, if we free up Mamoru, we could probably free up Yukari pretty fast as well, because she gets the, four days a week. I get the feeling Mitsuru unlocks once you return as well. Oh, maybe. Hmm. But we can delay her by finishing the others. But well, we can finish yeah, at least. Once... Mamoru and maybe Yukari, then focus on yeah. Mitsuru, Nozomi, and Uka. I think that's actually pretty good, because three per week is very manageable. We also cannot forget to get the drink as well. Yodo, huh? That's so cliche. Huh? You're not a fan? I'd say it's a beautiful city to make some good memories in while we're still young. Man, is that really the first thing you think? It makes you sound like an old geezer when you say that kind of stuff. It does? Hmm? <sighs> Thank goodness. She actually made it. Pretty fancy. 
Hey, what's that umbrella for? Aesthetic. Yeah. Ah, I see. So that's the style here in Kyoto, huh? So, which way do the geishas? You think we can ask them to put on a show? No, oh, you're underage. Yeah, oh, one, right. yes, that. I about that. Hope it's not too pricey. It's probably oh a few gosh, hundred are... thousand. Yeah, also, I'm just like... Jun Junpei and Ryoji have a Yosuke and Teddy energy going on here. Unfortunately, yes. It's just like, oh, we have to deal with this here too? Jeez. Come on, Yuri, I think we talked about this. <laughs> yeah. Inside is filled with water. Is this one of those open air hot springs I've heard about? No, it's just a water feature. <laughs> uh, we can go with that's the courtyard. Right, this is the courtyard. Wanna go out for a walk later, I guess? Sorry, Oji. Where was your old school planning to go for their trip? Probably somewhere cool like another country, I bet. Kyoto's so typical, don't you think? Hmm? Me? A trip. Hmm. Did we even have one? How do you not know? That's an event most people tend to remember. It is? All right, you can all chat later. You're blocking the hallway. Girls, your rooms are that way. Go on and get yourselves unpacked. You heard her. We'll see you later then. Yeah, we'll see you later, dude. Yes, I shall see you later, Yukari-san. <laughs> you two, swap places. <laughs> okay, okay, enough of this. I guess you're with us. Junpei, guy's room. Man. Man. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, I guess. My gosh. Yeah. All right, objectives, enjoy the school trip, and go back to our room. All right, well, you heard the game. Let's enjoy ourselves. Come on in. Gahara? It's like six Hara. Six Hara? Anything yeah. catch your eye? Um. Hmm. I'm never gonna come back, come back here, so I might as well buy all of them. Yep. Much appreciated. Yeah, let's just go around and clean out the shops. I mean, we literally are running around with like well over a million yen, so I don't think that's gonna be an issue. I wanna sample the local food, hit the hot springs, shop for souvenirs. Oh, and I'm a pro at pillow fights. I sling them so fast, they'll never see it coming. It'll you be the it? last surprise. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you were thinking the same thing. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we need to get all the drinks here because we have a quest with that. Ah oh, yeah, V6. Just like V8, except two less. <laughs> so it's not as good. Well, I mean, yeah. Wait, does that mean it's only like... 75% as good as a V8. Yuri, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, I don't really know. He's just like, look at me, I can make that jump. And then it's like, nope. You will dead if you try. We should probably head back. We don't want to miss curfew. <sighs> Not to mention, Shijo Street will be crawling with drunks and couples the longer we stay. Why are you so concerned about me? It was our fight that brought us together, and now that fight is over. We have no common goal, no enemy to defeat. 
You have no reason to associate with me anymore. You don't have to be hurtful about this. We've reached our conclusion. Why should we keep fighting? Everything I believed in was a lie. And in the end, I... You what? You couldn't protect someone important to you? Is that what you're trying to say? You said you wanted to atone for the Kirijo group's past, but that's not true. You were really only fighting to protect your father. That's right. I fought to protect him, and look what happened! I was blinded by my trust for Ikutsuki, and fell right into his trap. There was nothing I could do. My father bore the burden of responsibility entirely on his own. And ever since that incident, he looked like he was dead inside. I fought so he could be free of the shame and guilt weighing down on him. But it was all pointless. I never should have gotten involved. Am I wrong? <laughs> Sorry. But we don't know that for sure yet. <sighs> You know, I used to live around here. After my dad died, my mom spent all her time throwing herself at random men. I couldn't stand seeing that side of her, so I used to come out here to the riverbank to get away. <laughs> at that point, believing in my dad was all I had. Your father only did what he thought was best. He was involved in dangerous work, but in the end, he fought to make things right. He believed the shadows needed to be stopped, even if it meant losing his life. That's why I choose to fight. I'm going to destroy the Dark Hour and finish what my dad started. Finish what he started. That's all I can do. That we can do. Right, Mitsuru-senpai? Takeba. You're right. It's not over just yet. We're going to see this through to the end. For my father's sake, and for yours. Senpai... Yukari... Let's face what comes next together. Okay? Of course. Alright, <laughs> let's head on back and check out the bath. The bath? Yeah, the outdoor hot spring back at the hotel. It's really nice. Now that everything's out in the open, we have nothing left to hide. Nothing? <sighs> well, no. This is awkward. <laughs> hey, stop blushing. You're making this awkward for both of us. Come on, let's get going. It's already past curfew. You don't need to worry, Father. I'm not alone. And I won't turn back anymore. Mighty damage. Massive to mighty damage. Lowers all of their stats. Um, okay, this just sounds broken. Dang, Artemisia really packing in the great, like, Theurgy attack Although here. Although it's one, though, but even then. It would be good on a boss. Yeah. Because it's all, you know, <laughs> it is all mighty, so you don't have to worry about the damage being, not that, you know, Theurgy's are ever really resisted or blocked, but it drops all their stats. Yeah. Which is really great. Yeah, I like that. Please, watch over me. I wonder if that technically counts as an ailment, because that'd be really good for, like, 
buffing her no, passives too. No, it's still just buffy buff. Okay, yeah, that's fair. Uh, looks like you're still wet behind the ears. Listen closely, all right? No gourmet worth their salt will be caught wearing a yukata. Wheat! Our belly expands, the sash gets too tight, so we loosen it. Then we eat some more, we loosen the sash more, the sash falls off, we're left in the nude. You follow me? Yeah, but you're wearing a school uh, uniform. You're gonna have to loosen your yeah. belt. It's, it yeah, there's some extra steps involved. Doesn't really change much. No, whereas we're actually like wearing the traditional dress. Oh, let's head to the hot springs. I'm covered in sweat after that whole ordeal. So you're gonna go to the hot springs to be least sweaty? I wait. <laughs> <laughs> I had like a, I had like a moment where I'm just like, well, yeah, they're gonna wash off the sweat, and then it's like, wait, but then they're just going to be sweating in the hot spring anyway. Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't make a terribly lot of sense there, actually. Oh, there's another thing up here. God, I missed, I missed that report. Jeez. But yeah, that was... That was... Alright. Durian soda, more jumbo juice, and more V6. It's actually just more of the same thing. Hey, we gotta collect these. They're very rare items in the game because they're only ever spawned in Kyoto, which we go, like, once ever for four days, <laughs> so... It's not like, you know, in Inaba, where we can go over to the other, like, satellite city and shop there anytime we want. I didn't know you could come all the way down here. Going on trips is great, huh? I've seen a lot of the sights here now, and everything is so fascinating. There's so much I've never seen before. My mind's having trouble keeping up. I even bought myself a souvenir. Look, it's a music box. Doesn't it sound nice? I don't know the name of the song, though. Mm, I don't recognize it. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've got nothing. I don't really specifically know where that <laughs> is from. It is nice, though. <laughs> I'm kind of glad to hear you say that. Sometime, way down the line, I'll listen to this melody. And when I do, I'll think back fondly on this trip. Evening sun is so bright, reflecting off the water's surface. It's different from the view we get from the school roof. I wonder if this is the reason why people come to visit. But did you know, a long time ago, this place used to be an execution site. <laughs> yeah, that, that, wow. that's ominous. Yeah, I, that is ominous. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to darken the mood all of a sudden. And that stuff happened a long time ago. Besides, it's still nice and bright out right now. I've heard rivers have long been thought to be a border between this world and the afterlife. But with so many couples around, it doesn't really give that impression, huh? You know, I've been thinking. Every one of us will die someday, right? Eventually, the time will come when we have to part. So then, why? Why do people try so hard to connect with each other? I'm not just talking about romance either. It's the same for friends, 
family, everyone. For each person you connect with, it just makes saying goodbye that much harder. So, what's the point? Hmm, uh, uh, hmm. I mean, they're all technically correct in a way, but <laughs> hmm, if I were to answer the Joram way, probably loneliness. I don't want to feel lonely. So you mean we just can't stand the pain of being alone? Yes, the pain the pain of being alone is stronger than the pain of losing someone. Kind of. Yep. Depending. But look at everyone around us. They've chosen their partners out of a large crowd, haven't they? So it's not about loneliness. They genuinely want to be with each other, right? Oops. Sorry. Conversation got a bit heavy there. Looking out at the river just made me think about things for some reason. If you follow the flow of water, you'll eventually reach the ocean, right? Its destination is already decided, but it takes so many different forms before it gets there. Sometimes it's quiet and calm, other times it's choppy rapids. Sometimes it's clear, but other times murky. I imagine we're the same way. We're all in the midst of a long journey, with all kinds of things happening as we go along. I never realized any of this until coming on this trip with you. Everything feels that much more fascinating when you're here. I guess you could say, it expands my horizons. Time spent talking together with you like this just feels precious to me. <laughs> it kind of sounds like I'm confessing my love or something, huh? <sighs> the wind is chilly out here by the water. We should probably head back. Don't want to get in the way of all the couples. Ah, boy. It's that time. <laughs> uh, yep. It is that part. Oh, boy. Oh, hey! Oh, this trip went by in a blur. I can't believe we're already heading home tomorrow. I don't really care much for temples, but I still had a lot of fun. Let's hang out after we get back. All right, we're done. Finish our social link. We don't need to. Exactly. Th them's yeah. the rules. Once we Before. fully social link our social yes. links, that's it. <laughs> we form an unbreakable bond. We never hang out again. <laughs> and then... Oh my gosh, it's the meme where you see Woody getting thrown into a trash can. Oh, you're max level. I don't want to hang out with you anymore. Dumps. <laughs> <laughs> Has someone actually ever made that meme in that format? Because uh, that would be very, like, silly, but accurate. Sup? Want to check out the outdoor hot spring? No, but we must. Sweet! I'll grab Sonata-san and Ryoji, so you can head back to the room and get ready. <laughs> well, time to, against our will, join Stu Pei's uh, shenanigans. Yeah, I may as well go with the joke everyone else goes with here. Hot spring is open for guys at certain what were you going to say? Girls at others. Yeah, as, as we were just saying there, they are sincerely yeah. just going when they think they're open. It's uh, what happens after that's the problem. Yeah. So, there's a chance it could switch to girls only while we're still in here. So let's leave earlier. Yeah, Junpei, let's not get any ideas here. If that happens. It wouldn't be on us, right? Yes. They want, yes. I mean, yeah. technically yes, but you... let's not take the chance. Yeah. That's true. Something like that actually happening wouldn't be our fault. Yes, it would. Don't you think? 
This might <laughs> blow up in our faces. And by might, it absolutely will. Blow up how? Even still, can't help but think maybe fate wants us to be here. No. <laughs> anyway, I was just asking. Not like I'm being serious. Hey, isn't it getting kind of hot in here? So, what time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only, Junpei? Oh, I'm not sure. I didn't bother to check. Right, Ryojikun? Oh, no, you intentionally did this, didn't you? It's yes, I see now. Jun Joy uh, just, like, stands up. I'm leaving. I'm not involved. Yeah, no, I'm yeah that's what Jorma would be like. No, I'm not involved. I don't know any of you people. We never met before. We never right. associated. It could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei Kun? You morons. So that's why we came at such a strange time. <laughs> Calm down, man. We're just joking. I mean, yeah, we are here at a weird hour. But don't worry about it. I doubt any girls will come out here this late. What? Someone's here. Oh, man. What are we gonna do? Okay, maybe they actually didn't see it. Mm, I, I don't know. Probably eh. just an yeah. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Let, let's not kid ourselves here. It's all just a misunderstanding. They, they knew they picked a weird hour. What did they think was going to happen? <laughs> I mean, wow, this hot spring is huge. I would like believe it was an accident if they didn't know genuinely. But <laughs> yeah. They took the chance on the off chance that it was accidentally mistimed. And when it did yeah. happen, they went Oh no, I've mistimed it. It's like, well, what do you think was going to happen? Right? Wow, you're right. It's as big as a swimming pool. So this is an outdoor hot spring. Unfortunately, its therapeutic benefits have no effect on me. And you might want to stay out of it, because it could be dangerous. Yeah, I wouldn't chance it. It's, it's them! What are they doing here this late? Yes! Yukari-san and Fuka-san! Oh, this is my lucky look! Shut up, you dumbass! They'll hear you! Who's that? Is someone there? What's wrong, Yukari? Did you hear something? Michiru's here too? Oh, man. There's no way she'll see this as just a misunderstanding. I love how Ryuji was... Subtitles as gurgling, even though in this version he wasn't. He didn't have his head plunged underwater. Yeah. Uh, Ignore that. <laughs> for this, right? that, that. That's a weird discrepancy, but we'll just pretend that Look, was, you know, guys only intentional. We here. It's not like we planned this. We were just goofing around. <sighs> I'm just gonna side eyes <laughs> over at. At that. At, yeah. You know, Junpei here. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hmm, yes. Not planned, you say. Do you expect her to buy that? No, if she finds us, then... Then what? We'll be executed. Uh, executed? Yeah, I think I did hear something. Fuka, could you check over there? It could be a ghost. Um, okay. We have to make our way out of the hot spring without being spotted. This is a life or death mission. If we fail, calling this an accident isn't gonna cut it. Hmm. I don't see anyone here. That's Fuka-san's voice. Is she going around the rock? Hey, you're leading this operation, aren't you? Ah, uh, unfortunately. Yo, hey, don't put do? this on us. Uh... Hmm... Hey, not that way! Is this rock formation natural? Hey, is something hiding in the rock shadows?
Well. What? <laughs> Wait! This is just a misunderstanding! Silence! Consider yourselves executed! It was nice knowing you. <laughs> <laughs> What do you do? Just use a new TOG? Yep. We got- we, we all got- took severe almighty damage and stats down. Probably- X is probably- probably the X will implication there. Yeah. Everyone, you all remember when we're meeting at Kyoto Station, right? You better make sure you're on time. If any one of you is late, I'm the one who pays the price. Well, I'm never gonna forget Kyoto. Not like I could, even if I wanted to. <laughs> you weren't kidding about the whole execution thing. Just try to forget about it. Crap, here they come! Yourselves. <laughs> yeah. Damn, not even a dirty look. Yeah, and we got saddled in with this. Thanks. Yes. Fun, quote-unquote. <laughs> yes, that is correct. Yeah, at least Akiko can see the real thing here. Yeah, exactly, Akiko. Exactly. Let's try uh -huh. it. Seems like a bold move, but I trust your judgment. Wow, you really know what you're doing. Uh, it feels least advisable, but... Yeah. The shadows? No, there's no one here. See? You have nothing to be afraid of. Are you sure? This would be the wise move to keep moving. Sometime. Why is that? If the wind picks uh, up even a hmm. little, we'll totally get spotted. I'll stack over the rock. Mitsuru yeah. I guess are probably close too. Can't afford to be careless here. But now what? Hmm. Oh, I get it. We'll distract them with noise. Good plan. Uh, what herring? And why is it red? I'll explain, explain later. later. Yeah. <laughs> Yukari, what's wrong? What happened? There was a splash just now. We know where they are now. This is our chance. Whoa, hang on! We'll never make it if we just run out into the open like that! Whoa, so much confidence! You're like a natural-born leader. Well, you got us this far. Might as well go all in with you. All right, let's move. Hmm? <sighs> no, it couldn't be. What's this? It appears to be a rubber duck. I guess we'd be standing in there. Uh, whatever. Uh, so there really well, no. Wasn't anything there, huh? Sorry, I guess I was wrong. Is it just me, or 
Is the water a little too hot? I'm getting kind of lightheaded. Yamagishi appears to be stripped of her abilities when stripped of her clothing. <laughs> well, well, obviously. How intriguing. Each individual human body has its own distinct characteristics. To be more specific... Okay, that's plenty, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. I'll treat you to some ice cream. Ice cream? That's a highly efficient way to cool down. Uh, I don't know how, but we made it out, all thanks to you. One wrong step, and Mitsuru would have had our heads. Uh, where'd Junpei and Mochizuki go? Huh? Junpei-kun and Ryoji-kun are lying on the ground over there. Their faces are all red. Are they okay? I bet they were doing something stupid again. Just leave them alone. Oh, looks like the heat got to them. Guess they got what was coming. Yeah, and we escaped punishment and they got... and they didn't. Hooray! All's right in the world. They'll never know the, the terrible secret. Okay, everyone. You all remember when we're meeting at Kyoto Station, right? You better make sure you're on time. If any one of you is late, I'm the one who pays the price. I thought Kyoto was gonna blow, but it actually wasn't that bad. Well, mostly because of last night. <sighs> You're talking about the hot spring, right? Damn it, keep your voice down. Crap, here they come. Hmm? What's going on, guys? Oh, uh, we're just having a, um, a reflection meeting. What are you reflecting on? All our mistakes, all our, all our sins. Yep, deep regret. Uh, oh, don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, whatever. Mm. This secret stays between us, got it? You guys better take it to the grave. I guess he liked it. Good. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, uh, don't worry about it. Don't, don't ask questions. Excellent. Yeah. Hey, um... Oh, no, I was looking at the Nama Yatsuhashi, and I was like, that seems like something Ken would like. It's like posh and fancy, I guess, compared to the other ones. I don't know. Because it's like, it's something that's not like child candy. <laughs> it's not bland either. <sighs> this room really is too small to practice in. <sighs> but come to think of it, I guess I don't have to practice in secret anymore. Although, I don't live on the first floor here, so I might be disturbing the people downstairs. Hmm... I chose a long weapon so I could match the reach of an adult. But then I learned that long weapons are actually better suited for tall people. Ah! Oh, I hit my shin again. Jeez, I hope I get taller soon. Oh yeah, where'd my milk go?
<sighs> Maybe I should be drinking more milk. Hmm. It hurts my stomach sometimes, though. Ah, <sighs> uh, lactose intolerance. I know the feeling well. Because <laughs> that's how I knew I couldn't be drinking mi milk anymore, is when I had milkshakes, it felt like I had, like, almost like a glass shard in my stomach. I was like, oh. I'm like, no, ah. I can't can't dairy anymore. Ah, I know. It sounds horrible. So, I, it, it is really bad. Yeah, it felt... It felt painful. It was not great. Seriously? No way, man. You know what? That just sounds like putting in volunteer work. Like in... I believe here in high school, <laughs> part of the, like, you know, the thing you need to do in, on top of the earning credits is you have to put in so much X hours of work of volunteer. Uh, did you have that over there in New Zealand? No, we, well, we had a career experience thing, but I think it was like part of like learning the way working works. So like we, oh, okay. we got to pick like what we wanted to work at based on what we, were do what, uh, what we were studying and things. They didn't really know what to do with me because I couldn't do any physical physical labour or anything like that. And they did send me to like a office job thing but I couldn't do anything because it would involve like customer data. So I basically just uh, sat around watching other people do work. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I would have liked that. It was incredibly boring, like, customer data, yeah. uh, uh, finance, finance stuff. Yeah. But, I mean, just basically getting your, like, hour credits things just by doing absolutely nothing would be pretty great. No, it was no, no credits to it. Yes, I, don't I think guess it, credits I don't... is not really the right way to put it. It's just you have to put in X amount of hours of volunteer work. Yeah, whereas here, like, credits are an actual, like, numerical value of stuff. Like, certain... You, if you get, like, certain grades, you get certain credits. You need, like, X amount of credits to, like, pass the leap year. Right, I see. So, like, the, whereas... career, the work experience thing was not anything like that. It was just something you just did. <laughs> yeah, that's basically how it worked here. It was just kind of part of, like, you do this... It's just an extra thing, right? Like, you could get, like, more than the amount of credits you need to pass, but if you don't do the volunteer work hours, you don't graduate, or something like that. It's just very silly. Uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah. There was, there was nothing to do with, like, they didn't, like, help hold you back or anything, but I don't think they did. But... That's better than what we had here, that's for sure, if that's the case, I think. <laughs> you still need to, like, get a certain amount of stuff. To have, like, the right. high school qualification. Imagine if you didn't have enough, they, like, gave you, like, extra... Like, exams or things to do, to give you extra points. Yeah, I'm sure, like, you probably could have done, like, a summer school or something, to Make up. So, I show you these weird drinks, and you're like, Oh, but I'm gonna still just gonna charge you for this one. Fine. Wow. And I could've just given you the drinks I got. We should start here so we, like, have her on hand. We and, like, should. And, like, She's gonna have... But then once we've got, once we've got her started, we'll just focus on Yukari and work her again. Yeah. I'm sure there's probably some days where we will want to focus her anyway, because it sounds like she's going to have a lot of available days. Hmm. Especially once Mamoru is out of the way. Hello. Actually, if anything, we're probably poised at a good spot to, once we, what we should do, right, is we should focus Mamoru this upcoming week, because he needs two. And then what happens after yeah. that is we tag in Mitsuru for those days that Mamoru would normally have. That's true. 
that's what I'm thinking. And then we keep to the standard uh, Saturday and Monday for for Fuka and Yukari. And then we have Mamo, Mamo, not Mamo, uh, Nozomi for the days when no, no school links. Yep, we just hard focus whenever we don't have access to that. Are there any customs I should follow? Yeah, we, we make here again. Uh. Yep, yeah, that's the usual. I guess we can. Yeah, don't let it get soggy. Oh, understood. So it's important to eat quickly then. Sounds sensible. I imagine said eagerness shows respect to the chef as well. Now then, let us begin. Bon appétit. Hmm. What a fascinating flavor. I thought it's strange at first, but it carries with it a subtle complexity. Yes, this is quite delicious. Excuse me, Monsieur Chef de Cuisine? Mitsuru, please. Uh. <laughs> Chef de Cuisine? Are you talking to me? Your ramen is absolutely wonderful. It's been a while since I last gave my compliments to the chef. What do you use for the bouillon? Bouillon? What the hell is that? You're asking about the recipe? Sorry, miss, can't tell you. Something, something That's trade secret. Right on the table. So it's a secret recipe. I completely understand. You don't have to tell me. You mentioned this dish puts bread on the table. I suppose that means it comes in sandwich form as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. What a fascinating delicacy. Okay, I gotta be honest here. That sounds like something I guess would interpret. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I, I was not expecting that from Mitsuru. Exactly. Well, whatever. That's exactly why it was so funny too. Delectable could likely be patented and sold for quite a profit. Oh, sorry. Um, my imagination got the best of me. I've been wanting was thinking, ah, for a long time. The creature group could also expand into the ramen business. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> we'll mass produce it. It'll be the best thing ever. It'll be like Ichiban ramen, like I eat. Because remember, it's number one. <laughs> Unusual? Nah. Oh, that's good to hear. I never had the opportunity to eat this kind of food growing up. The style of restaurant is new to me too. So, I have to admit, it's something I've always wanted to try. I'm glad we came here today. You've already taught me so much about ramen etiquette. I would love to return here in the future. Don't worry, we all return here to the future. <laughs> Everyone comes to this place. <laughs> yeah. Uh. That all right, finally, at long last, we have access to the Empress. Oh, I didn't notice the time. We should be going. Oh, uh, okay. Why did you leave him in here? Wait, who who was visiting? Was Ryoji? it Ryoji? Yeah. I'm. Yeah. Do not you think really it's okay? Surprised? Uh... Um, yeah, I'm actually surprised what? too. Yeah. I guess it's not like we exactly. Oh God! Thank God. We can do. We can do. Yeah. Okay. It's not like we're. Let's do it. We have like mm -hmm. giant signs up saying these and we execute shadows and a giant map of Tyler or something like that so it's not yeah, like we're pretty it's not like yeah. anyone's gonna come in here and go uh what do you do here 
Have secret. I wandered into some like stonemasons thing or something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and like walking into like Euro's bedroom where it's got a giant blue and phantom thieves flag up. Yeah, Jiro, well, okay, we've established that Jiro is not exactly subtle. He's the opposite <laughs> of subtle. The guy is a big show off -y, charismatic, like, person, you know, he, he loves to make a big show of it. And to be fair, that's like after there's a whole bunch of merch being produced. So you could argue that he's just a fan. Yeah. It's still kind of he, funny. He's just a really big fan. Yeah, he, I mean, he's allowed to be a fan of himself, right? That sounds very <laughs> narcissistic. <laughs> Oh, he's definitely a fan of himself. Finally, at long last. Oh, we've waited so long for this. All right. Today, we're going to see some of the greatest matches the champs have ever... Hmm? And here we are with the first match of the qualifiers. In the red corner, we have Akihiko Sanada-kun from Gekokan High School. Me. This is footage from my first official match. My coach from back then recorded it for me. Uh, sorry, looks like I put on the wrong video. Uh, let me switch it out. Yeah, I guess it has been quite some time. But I guess this might be a good opportunity. Uh, let's watch it. Uh, I look so stiff and nervous. My form is all over the place. Uh, how did I even win this? At least I can tell I've improved since then. Here's where I get my left straight in. And the winner is Sonata-kun <laughs> from Check the my red face. corner! I'm trying to look calm, but on the inside I can barely contain myself. I know I said before that I just wanted to learn how to fight with my bare hands, but this might actually be why I stuck with boxing. This victory gave me confidence. I wasn't so stiff in any of my later matches. Are you the type to get nervous in front of a bunch of people like that? That's what I like to hear. You're just as reliable as a leader ought to be. If you ever want to try getting in the ring, I'd be glad to have you. I've learned a lot from boxing, but there's a strict rule I follow when it comes to winning. Find your opportunity, then strike without hesitation. You mean like using our caster rods? It's easy exactly. to remember, but hard to apply. You could say the same thing about fighting shadows, too. I've always tried to keep those words in mind, but now I'll be even more conscious of them. Yes! Buffamp. You know, I never thought you'd see me like that. But it did help remind me how I felt when I was starting out. Anyway, sorry you had to sit through that. I'll save the champion matches for next time. Now we move on to round two of the qualifiers. In the red corner, Akihiko Sanada oh, well, from Gekokan High here. School. Want to watch some more before we go to sleep? Mm. Oh, meanwhile. Indeed. What am I drawing? Why is this? What? It's been a while. That voice! I'm glad to see you once again. Jin, the instruments if you would. Here. Well, they weren't exactly very subtle about this, what were they? <laughs> Don't tell me you can't I can hear an alarm going off. Yeah. <laughs> Now there's nothing in the world keeping you here, yes? Takaya. Surely you understand. There is nowhere for you to go. Your only choice is to come with us. 
You know all too well that death is not to be feared. You need only fear. I know, Takaya. Excellent. It's all his fault. Ever since he started getting too close, I've suffered every single day. And now, I'm afraid to die. Hey, Jidori, hurry it up. <sighs> Mandia, let's go. Yeah, that's... Well, it's going to get interesting later, let's just say. <laughs> I'm going to say, here's my prediction. We either just, and I do mean just complete everything... Or we're off literally by one, like, <laughs> link, like, episode. Which is to say, we're probably... I'm gonna say the pessimistic outlook is probably, like, one link is level 9 at the end of it. Yeah. But I think we're pretty dang close. God damn, do the career experience dead. It, uh, it's honestly November is the worst. <laughs> because if you have spent, like... October and September trying to catch up. November just goes, lol, no, and basically pushes you back down the stairs again. And it's just like, yeah, have fun with that.